Hi guys, it's Ashlyn Carter. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to set the table without setting the table, okay? So basically it's going to be, we're foregoing formal place settings. This is going to be a buffet style. I'm using paper plates tomorrow and I wanted to show you how you can still create a beautiful table while not placing all the things on it. So I've got a beautiful new linen to share with you and I've got some flowers on the table, but besides that and some candles, that's it. That's set the table simply without all the hoopla. This is a uh, get your own drink, grab your paper plate and grab your forks off the counter kind of dinner for you. So, so it's fall, happy fall everybody. I'm hosting my in-laws this weekend they are all coming into town with the brothers and the aunts and the uncles and all the people because it is my mother-in-law's 60th birthday so we are having a formal birthday dinner on saturday but friday i wanted everyone's coming into town i wanted to host dinner for them so they're all coming over it just it's still warm here but it's fall and so i wanted the house to feel cozy as we have our guests in. Um, really excited to find this on Amazon. Okay, this is a huge gingham, neutral, tan, neutral, cream table linen. It's so beautiful. It is made up of linen and cotton, so it is very awesome quality. I'm gonna be putting this on because I just feel like this is so fall. For the menu, we are gonna be doing burgers, potato salad, on earrings, baked beans, just easy, okay? It's still nice outside, we're still using our grill, and I wanted something that I could be at the pool at the hotel and then come back, have everything kind of prepared. And I also am gonna be sharing the best dessert with you. In fact, I might have already posted this recipe on YouTube. If not, it's coming. It is salted caramel apple bars, and they are so delicious, like so good. You have to try them. So that's the menu. Let's beautify the table. came together I think that the gingham linen really just is a beautiful pop for very inexpensive so I will link to that below and again these were my inspiration and so you probably watched how I put this together but I was able to buy these plants for under five bucks a piece so I put them in just different vessels to kind of add to the table we've obviously got our arrangement here some candles some taper candles don't be afraid to mix and match your vessels as long as they coordinate. And there you have it. There is a very simple but elegant and fun dinner table. Okay, I wanted to talk about two hosting tips for you today. Number one is today is the day before my dinner. So I, what did I do? I set the table, I put the linen down. I know that my family has a busy night at soccer. We will not be eating here. So I made my flower arrangements the day before. I semi set the table. Again, we're not doing any formal placing. So this is pretty much ready to go minus lighting the candles, maybe adding a few more things. Um, so that is one tip. If you can the day before set your table get your flowers out of the way, and then go through your menu and think, is there anything else I can do today to lighten my load for the day of, okay? I know I'm gonna have a busy day tomorrow. I, I don't wanna be in the kitchen all day. So what are some dishes that I can do to prepare in advance? I'm gonna make the potato salad today. Potato salad's always better the next day. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm also gonna pre-make the dessert because I'm doing the apple pie bars, and those are simple and something I can do in advance, okay? That's it, I'm gonna get those bigger things out of the way and then tomorrow it's just grilling the burgers, it's opening the can of baked beans and it's making the onion rings. Very simple, very easy, but it will lighten your load. It will take the overwhelmingness out of preparing and hosting dinner if you can just prepare the day before. And that's it, keep it easy. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's Set the Table series video. I will link below the linen that I am in love with. I'm also gonna be adding, I bought two, so I will be putting one outside. I will show you that setup. Here's another thing. I didn't wanna put everybody at the same table. I'd have to get out my leaves. It'd be a little cramped. There's 15 people. So I bought the same linen. We're gonna put it outside at our table. I'm gonna do a similar floral arrangement with some of these plants, put them outside, and guests can choose where they sit. Some are gonna sit inside, some are gonna get outside. Again, I wanted to create a warm, beautiful space, but I really wanted it to be informal, casual, just comfortable, and people can sit where they want. Good morning, it is the day of the dinner. I am going to be pre-cooking all the bacon for the bacon cheeseburgers. And I'm also pre-making those onions. Oh my gosh, I wish that you guys could smell. How good. Just grilled onion smell. So delicious, caramelized onions. So good, so easy. I think the key to a good cheeseburger is yummy crispy bacon, American cheese, and sauteed grilled onions are, adds so much. Oh, and don't forget a burger sauce going to make the In-N-Out secret sauce. It's pretty much just mayonnaise, relish, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, and ketchup. That's it. And so I'm gonna put together that right now, get all my condiments ready so that we're really ready to go. And I just have to grill the burgers and bake the onion rings and everything else will be set. I made the, pasta, the potato salad yesterday. Like I mentioned, um, I'll share the recipe. I've never made potato salad before, but it looks really good. So. I'll share that recipe below and easy peasy. Okay. Oh, and my dessert's cooking. I said I was gonna make it yesterday. Here it is. I did not. Looks so yummy. So.